Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm video. We're joined by friends and we're gonna do a ram because that's just how we roll. That's how we get warmed up. Authenticating now. And now we're just waiting. Now we're just waiting on blue. Just waiting on blue. <gasps> blue hurt us. Yeah, I didn't notice. You got it ready, though. <laughs> Absolutely not a problem. <laughs> so how would you do multiplayer? We well, I would have to learn. <laughs> Very good. I know theoretically how I would do it, but practically I No. Not sure. But I mean like game wise, would you just be on the same level? And maybe okay, so well so the way I have the map, um all you need is the seed mm -hmm. and the seed is the number generated. So initially it's generated just randomly. Mm-hmm. And then we save that seed and that will give you the map. Yeah. But Similar to how like Minecraft works, you know how you have the seed and that gives you the planet. Yeah. So my question as long as each player has the seed. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> My question is, uh, Blue, who are you going to go, actually? Or I could heal. I don't know. Either or. I think they're all good picks. Uh, so my question is, is we talked about when, uh, when a player enters a room, we load the room and the neighboring rooms. But if you have somebody else joining them on their quest, you're loading both? Should, would, should we just load the whole level and have all the whole level in memory all at once well the whole level is uh okay so no but like actually instantiated sort of loaded is, in game yeah yeah the whole map sort of is pre-made like once you get the seed mm -hmm. it generates the whole level and then but yeah as far as instantiation and loading all assets the room and its neighbors yeah, but oh. if you have multiplayer, then wherever the other people are, you're going to have to instantiate their rooms and their other rooms, too. I'm wondering well, if I'm you... To... An easy solution is to just lock. So both people have to exit. Or there's the host, and when he leaves to the next area, it'll if the other person isn't with them, it'll auto-teleport them there. Just for simplicity's sake, we could do stuff like that. Because, uh, I mean, we could, we could do something. Well, hold on. Okay, now that I think about it, we probably, because each player has a copy of the map, um, their memory is independent of each other. So we could have each person explore at their own pace if they want. Yeah, and uh, I don't think our map is going to be that big. Or have and that detailed need... assets that we we could just have everything loaded all at once. Uh, I was thinking it'd be kind of Sorry, the sound is a little bit too loud. I can't hear you. Six of the way there. Oh, he's so close to dying. Oh, we got there. You go. He thought he was going to be able to dash back up. Dash back up. Interesting map. <laughs> right. Okay, but yeah. Okay, now that I think about it, uh, each player's map they have their own copy. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, 
uh, as far as multiplayer, they would only need to know whether they're uh, close. And then if they're close, then we have to sync up actions and do all that stuff, all that messaging. But yeah, I still have to learn the actual. Yeah, I was thinking it'd be kind of big. But initially, yeah, we can do really small, small scale, initially. Sorry, try, try hard mode has been engaged. Did you actually try hard in this game? Oh yeah, especially when I'm playing a uh, damaged kerosene. Die for that one. <laughs> Don't know where he was going with that, but sure. Picked my talents right as everybody was dying, so. Yeah, this is explosive. Yeah, I was thinking about it, and I feel like we really need like a huge talent, uh, stat, skill point stuff tree. Because I think a lot of the re replayability is going to be in different builds with different maps and stuff.
Oh, she went snowball. No. Come on, stupid insight. Time to be finished. Lower my cooldowns. Gain physical armor while stunned and rooted. Yes, please. I can't believe you've made it out alive. I think we would have been better had I gone Rexar. Is the mic working? No, for you, Farticus. I haven't heard anything from you. Pushed him back. I can always dash back, so I'm not too worried. I'm coming back to you now. I even got a palm off on that. We're four levels down.
<laughs> Staying alive for a really long time. I don't think it's helping us. Uh, congratulations for choosing a lot of healers. Yep, you're welcome. BG. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know this, the Alex Johnson. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna be you and me. Yeah, well, if I had mercs, I could have leveled up my inside earlier. But I didn't have that, so it was just a bad map for Kerzine. Okay, I am listening now. <laughs> How are you talking about doing, instead of loading up just the whole map? You're talking about doing what now? But so, only the, you know, specific rooms are actually instantiated. Yeah, but isn't that a lot of loading and unloading for multiple people on the same map? Well, no, they handle their own. It's like Minecraft. Oh, they handle their own. So, because each person has the same seed, they'll have the same map. Well, the same map would be generated. So, they will personally handle the actual instantiation loading. There doesn't have to be like a central server. No, but the, for them. you don't and have to have a central system. server, but th are you saying that the main client, whoever is pulling a friend into their game, uh, yeah, they're, they're kind of the host. host and their computer needs to keep track of all of the players and then all of the players, all of the enemies and all of relevant in details and send that across the wire to the the other person? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, the... Host. The first player would be the host. Which should be fine as long as we don't have too much information that we're sending over the network. Too many enemies, too many projectiles, too many things. Because that's a lot of messages that well, you then have projectiles, to... Projectiles, enemies, uh, those don't have to be... <laughs> so if we keep it to just messages about... Well, I think we have a okay, lot of... So... We do have a slight benefit in that it's medieval times and there's not like projectiles there's not bullets that you have to keep track of it is yeah, rather just not, we don't have to worry too much i don't think like it's not like an fps where we care about latency and speed too much as well mm -hmm. so that really helps yeah i'm worried about it be out of sync with each other and it won't be too noticeable or anything i'm a little bit worried about lag spikes in the enemies so if you're going into somebody else's world their enemy does a move and I'm guessing that we have to trigger or announce to the the, the helper, the multiplayer person, uh, their client that the enemy made that move at that point in time so that they can then do the animation. Yeah. And that's where the Unity uh, multiplayer, it's supposed to have features that really help with like, you know, uh, sinking Ten and rollback and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Five, so that I don't four, have to, like, three, you know, code two, everything from scratch one. and do all that crazy stuff. Let's a lot of it really, a lot of it's really going to be uh, how do you keep the minimum amount of stuff going over the network? Yeah, yeah. So, oh. Okay. waiting for the flank to happen. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm definitely going to model the multiplayer of Minecraft. <laughs> Minecraft. Yeah. So it's not going to be the fastest thing, but it will be. It'll. I think it'll be good enough. I think so too. Vital signs negative. Right, We're going to so yeah. should have this easy. Kept them alive. I'm dead. I'm alive. Find us. Trying to get to you, Vardicus. gonna dive into the middle of our team to kill me which is honestly a smart idea okay blue you're all alone oh no well, that was a bad idea <laughs> Yeah, no, she's fun to so play, isn't she? Someone you liked. Just move around like crazy, dodge a bunch of their crap. Yeah, just spread the poison. Spread it around. Alright, lure, lure. <laughs> Thank you. All right, one more, and my quest is complete, and I uh, there. So oh, he just let you be alone. Oh, well, kind of him. Just baited him. Blue, will you get out of my way? Yeah, 
you gonna attack or do anything? My word, he just stood there. Nanode. So long. Just trying to get stacked so I can be an auto attacker. Run, farty kiss, I believe. Oh, she didn't pick the talent where she can always heal or always pulls. Power consecutive. Okay, five more seconds, and then I will be running towards you, farty kiss. Oh, farty kiss, where'd you die to, man? Poisoned. Oh, he's dead before I could even get to him. Yeah, we gotta get this tower down. Why would he walk back into the middle of that? Oh, I tried so hard, I'm sorry. Sorry, he can't heal. One E from Joe should kill him. Oh, unless he's gonna wait for him. First rattlesnake of the year, yikes. <laughs> Why'd you run away? Why'd you run away, Thornval? We we had this. It's okay, I wanted my kill. And that is why I don't live where you live, Vardigus. Uh I've gotten some hikes in up the mountains. Oh, Vardigus. Yeah, before, in like in the middle of spring, summer, and yeah, we have rattlesnakes up in the, the canyon, and I do not appreciate them. Okay, well, I'm glad to see you guys don't need me. It wasn't very big, which means someone had babies. Ew. That means you have a lot of them. You have a lot of them until all of the animals around end up eating the babies and killing the babies. Let's get to work. Yikes. Okay, he, he's just going to die, isn't he? There we go. 49k healing. So much more than the enemy team. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh right, the enemy team didn't have a healer. Yeah, even Joe had more. Oh, I didn't even get there. I don't know. You guys were all crazy. You're like, they don't have a healer so we can go ham. But that also means they can do more damage. The roadrunners eat the babies? Yeah. Yeah, but how many babies does a rattlesnake have? Too much. <laughs> 